Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today we have a video of a, a very nice lady, and obviously she chose the right religion to convert to. You know, she went to Egypt and she was Islamic countries, and maybe she met somebody there and he told her that Islam is a nice religion. Actually, I experienced many of those uh, uh, situations. In fact, I have a laptop, which is still I have. It's an old laptop now. It was a gift from a parents of a girl like her. She went to Egypt to study Arabic. And there, she met an Egyptian guy. And he started inviting her to his house, his family. He met, she met his mother, nice people, etc. And then he convinced her that he is the right person to marry and she want to become a Muslim. Then the parents just contacted me and I spoke to her first time, second time, third time, etc. At the end, she agreed that Islam is a very aggressive cult. And actually, this is why the parents, they decide to give me a gift. I said, I don't want anything. They insisted and they sent me a laptop. How sad. Now here our friend, uh, she is telling you about a good idea to do. I mean, it's a clear, the clear Quran review, why I love this English translation. Let us hear first what she like to say before we continue. And please don't forget to share the video with her because we want her to see and understand and we feel sorry for her. I'm not making fun of you, my friend, but I feel sorry for you. Is that you have to make sure that you read a good English translation of the Quran. You have to be sure. She discovered that you have to be sure you are reading a good English translation for the Quran. <laughs> I mean, you have to be sure, my friend. <laughs> Okay, let us let us try to be sure. I want to ask you a few questions, and I want you to find to tell me in the translation that you are saying it's wonderful. What they say to you about this, as an example, chapter two, verse number two thirty, that if your husband divorced you, you cannot remarry him. Oh, sorry, marry the same guy because you want to go back to your husband if he divorced you three times until you if a new husband. Here the Muslim, they translate for you, this says that she, until she has married another husband. Is that true? This is what the verse saying. It says, Tankah. Tankah, they will say to you, it's mean to marry. Hmm. Let us go to the hadith and see what Muhammad said. A woman, she is already married now. Okay, she married a new husband. Let us see what happened. If it says tankah mean to remarry or to f, and here you need to ask yourself why in the world somebody have to go and sleep with the new husband in order to go back to the previous husband? They will say to you, "Oh, hold on, because this is a punishment from Allah to the husband, but he is the one who abused you, and now you are the one going to go in the bed, excuse my language, and do boom boom." Where is the wisdom? What about Allah says, hey Muslim man, if you convert, if you if you divorce your wife three times, we will make somebody do boom boom to you. So now in order to go back to your husband, you have to sleep with a new man, and you are crying to go back, not to the husband, maybe not because he's good, already he's a bad person, but because you have a children. So look what Muhammad he said. If a man he divorced his wife thrice. Then she married another man, okay? Who also divorced her. The prophet was asked if she could legally marry the first husband or not. The husband, he says, not. No, she cannot marry the first husband unless the second husband do boom, boom. So this is what the word tankah mean. Unless she do tankah, not to marry, you see the lie in the translation? Unless she do tankah, which means to F, 
Now, if the Muslim, they want to say to us, well, this is a lie. This is your prophet explaining the verse. Hello? She cannot, this is what the verse is saying, she cannot do, go back to the previous husband unless she do tankah. What tankah mean? Sexual intercourse. And we have a story of a woman who her husband, he did beat her because she married him and now she don't want to do boom boom with him because she did marry him to go back to the previous husband. So what the prophet said to her? Hmm. If you think you can go back to the previous husband, huh? you are mistaken. You can only after you do boom boom with this guy. And here the story where the women, she came to Muhammad, to Aisha, and Aisha, she witnessed that the women, she was wearing a green veil and her skin was greener. Her husband, he did beat her until her skin was greener. And what the prophet, he said, nothing. He said to her, you are a liar, you are a stupid. You know, if you think, if you think that you can go back to your husband, before doing boom boom, you are mistaken. You have to do nikah first. So now she is married. So if nikah mean marriage, already she is married. No, nikah does not mean marriage. So here it says, Aisha she said, I never seen, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. That's mean Aisha witnessing that in her time, this is the best, the golden time of Islam. The prophet is there to be a judge. Imagine. Yet Aisha she is witnessing that the most ugly time is when Muhammad was there. Women are suffering. And Muhammad taking side with the Muslim women, sorry, with the Muslim man who did beat his wife. And then he said to her at the end, <laughs> listen, listen, uh, female uh, Muslima. Huh? Listen, if your intention to go back to your previous husband, you then, then you should know that he is unlawful for you unless he do nikah to you. Do you see it? Do you see it? So what they say to you about this verse and tell me your wisdom. What kind of a prophet he said to you, if you have a husband and he is a stupid and he divorced her three times, uh, then you have to go and sleep with different, uh, your, uh, you know, you call a friend, hey, my friend, can you sleep with me for a day or a night or two so I can go back to my previous husband and meet my children again? What is that? And if Muhammad don't want men to abuse the divorce, why he made it so easy? By just saying an attention, by just saying one word. And what the Muslim translation you have saying this to you, that you have to hate your parents. Chapter 58, verse number 22. I am curious to tell us, can you please read for us the translation you mentioned to us, how good it is? You will not find, you will not find folk who believe in Allah and the last day, loving those who oppose Allah and his messenger. Who are they? Now, the Muslim, they will say to you, opposed. At that time, at that time, they, no, it says those who don't believe in Islam, oppose, go and read the net of seer. Anyone who don't believe in Islam, he is an enemy of Allah. Even if they are their fathers, their mothers, their sons, their children, their brothers, their sisters, you will not find. Did you, did you start hating your parents to be a good Muslim? What the translation they give you is saying about this verse. And by the way, we can change to you any translation you want because I agree with you. All Islamic translation is a fraud. All of them. Or what the Muslims, they say to you in the translation in chapter 3 or 4, as an example, I'm just showing you some. 434, where it says, beat your wife. Did they mention in the translation that you have to do one step, second step, third step? Does it say in the text first and second? If you have that, 
Well, there's an easy way to find out if the word first and second and third is there. Just take the Arabic text and post it in Google and you will find that all the addition is not there. There's no first and second and third. And there's no lightly. Beat them lightly. Well, the, punish, the, the whole point is to make her subdued. So what lightly would do? You beat them until they obey you. What they said that to you? What do you think about beating you? You, little you. Or maybe you enjoy it. You see, I assume that this is Muslim woman. She is enjoying very much the Islamic practice. I mean, you can tell. And now what they will say to you, those are extremists. This is Islam. What they will say to you, oh, we cannot beat women. What they will say to you? Oh, they will say to you, those people don't present Islam because they are reading the Quran. Hmm? Because they are reading the Quran. Like what the Quran says about beating. Let us see. No, brother or sisters, those Muslims don't present Islam or sisters. They got wrong understanding. This is not true. There is nowhere in Islam it says, beat them, brother and sisters. We cannot do that. This is haram. The adulterer and the adulteress scourged each of them a hundred stripe. Mm -hmm. So those are not Muslims who they are doing that. So what if your sister, she have a boyfriend? Hmm? I'm assuming, I don't know, you're Canadian, American, I have no idea, and who care? And then she decided to go with you to an Islamic country. Oh, by the way, there's no Islamic countries exist no more. Thank God. Otherwise, you will see people beating the street all, all over. Only some places in the world, they are practicing Islam. Why? Because Muslims themselves, they reject Islam. Islam is a disgusting cult. And you know, I have to be honest with you. This woman, she is enjoying Islam so much. I mean, if you look at her face, you can tell that how much she is lucky to be a Muslim. And look at this beast. He's screaming at her. And look at this face, how happy. I mean, I'm really convinced. Brothers and sisters, it's very important to find a good translation for the Quran. Uh -huh. What is the good translation saying about beating a woman 100 times? What the good translation said to you? Hmm? And for sure, we cannot talk about stoning to death, which Muhammad, he stole from the Jews. Because now the Muslims, they say to you, oh, you know that the Jews, they stone? Well, Muhammad the thief, he stone, you know, Jesus is the only one who said to them, if any of you is not a sinner, stone her. Hypocrite people. And why a man, he can beat the women, by the way? Oh, there is a logic about that. There's a lot of logic. There's a good logic. Mm-hmm. Men are in charge of women because Allah has made the one of them excel another. Someone might say, well, in Christianity, the man is the, 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 the leader of the house. You see, in Christianity, Jesus said clearly that the man has to be as Christ who gave himself to the church, and that is his wife. Which means the man, he is the Lord of the house, but not to abuse, but to serve. Jesus himself, he washed the feet of his disciples. And Jesus himself, he guide us that a good man is the man who do. Sacrifice himself, not the one who sacrifice his wife. 
In the Quran, it's given us a very clear understanding of the idea of a Muslim woman. Men are in charge because Allah make men better. And because they spend money on you. This is the hooker mentality, that the woman is like a hooker, and because I paid her, then she have to do a service for, you, for me. So because they spend of their property, between two bracket, you see the Muslim translation, not me. I don't know in your translation what he said to you. What he said to you in your translation? It just, you know, just, please read for us. Can you please read for us what they said to you in your translation, the one you like very much? You are very cute. So good women is obedience, guarding the secret, and Allah has guarded as for those who the, you fear. They did not even do anything that you fear. They did not go rebellion. They did not, what rebellion? The Muslim, they said to you, what if she is uh, cheating on you? You a liar? Here we go. The verse for cheating here. Actually, no. The verse for cheating for a married woman is a stone into death. And we can show it in the hadith. And actually, the verse used to be in the Quran, but sadly, the goat ate it, if you remember. Do you remember? The goat ate it. I hate that goat. Actually, this goat now is wanted by more than a billion Muslim. As you see here, the verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult. Oh, I don't want to talk about breastfeeding for adult. I hope you will not practice it and you will never do that. I mean, have you ever heard of a more perverted prophet than this? Ordering Muslim women to give their breast to a stranger, and the and the purpose is so he can visit you, and he can associate with you. And by the way, if you don't believe me, you can go right now and search for fatwa for a breastfeeding. An Egyptian host, TV host, she asked a big sheikh in Egypt. She said to him, "Oh, are you saying I have to breastfeed everyone who work with me in the studio right now?" He said, "Yes." He said, "What about the person who go in the bus?" A woman, she go in the bus or a train, she have to breastfeed, he said, yes. I'm really convinced. A breastfeeding for adult was in the Quran and the goat ate it? What kind of God? He come with such a teaching. And when the Muslims, they heard the fatwa, they went crazy. But they don't know that the Prophet is the one who made this decision, not the guy. The guy is just telling you what's in your book. And by the way, I almost converted to Islam because of this verse. I mean, we men are always hungry. Look, I'm hungry right now. Let me drink coffee, but tea. Because what I can do, I mean, there's no breastfeeding if available. We have to admit, Muhammad is a very open-minded person, as long as it is your wife who gives her boobs, not his wife. Muhammad even forbid his wives from marrying after him because he is a very aggressive, jealous, disgusting, own you. He liked to own you as a property. Even his wives, they die, he made them the mother of the believers. Islam forbid the adoption. Why? Because Muhammad, he wanted to sleep with his own son wife. And not only that, Muhammad suddenly made the, the mother of the believers a title, which means they are adopted. Which means that, that those wives of Muhammad, they became adopting all the Muslims. So how adoption is forbidden and suddenly you make Muhammad wife or the mother of the believers because he don't want anyone to sleep with them. He is a disgusting person. If you ask a Muslim, is it a good thing for a Muslim woman after she divorced her wife, her husband, or I mean her husband divorced her, or she is a widow to marry? You say, sure, it's better to protect her from sin. So how come the wives of Muhammad, they cannot do that? Oh, they cannot because they are a property of the Prophet. <laughs> anyway, I hope this fatwa is going to be practiced all over the Middle East. So we can go and take selfie and you know, we, a lot of tourism will come. I mean, a lot of tourist people who they are hungry. You know, there's these days, the food, food is a problem. Like now in USA, we have a we have a big storms hitting all of USA. I'm freezing. It's very cold here. So, but if we have a breastfeeding for adult, actually, I was thinking to open a drive through breastfeeding business, maybe in Las Vegas. But I need partners. I cannot, you know, I need money. You know, 
So the verse of stoning and breastfeeding, stoning, yes, stoning women to death. For adult in time, 10 times, it's not enough once, it's not enough five, it's not enough two. No, brother, I have to be 10 times. And then Allah abrogated those verses by five times. Okay, where do we come find the verses in the Quran? They are gone. The one is 10 times and the one is five times is gone. I don't think the goat ate them. I think the one who ate them is the Muslims. I mean, come on, who believed this story of the goat? And don't you, Muslim, you say the Quran preserved the brother? And then a goat is overcoming Allah, humiliating Allah. The paper was under my pillow when the messenger of Allah died. We were preoccupied with his death and a tam sheep came and ate it. What a disgusting tam sheep. You see, brothers and sisters, the conspiracy against Islam. Even a goat. Is against the Prophet. If you go to the uh, website of the FBI, you will find I'm talking about the Muslim FBI, like the Taliban. You will find that the most wanted person for them is the goat who took the Quran and ate it. If you have any information, please don't hesitate to call this following number. Taliban police, goat is missing. Uh, I mean, Quran is missing. It doesn't matter. You can dial both number because both are active. And this goat who ate the Quran, since then we could not find the Quran. I mean, okay, the goat ate the Quran. I thought the Muslim they memorized the verses. The goat, she ate the papers. She did not eat your memory. So where is the verses of a breast? I have a challenge for the Muslims to recite for me the breastfeeding verse or verses. Because you know Muhammad, he repeat himself tons of time. There's no way he said it once. Can any Muslim recite the verses for us? Because if you are memorizing the Quran, you should be memorizing it since the time of Aisha. So what the Muslim they said to you about this? Hmm. And you know, when the Quran says a man, he can beat the women. Because women, supposedly, you know, they are bad, according to Muhammad. They are evil. Did Muhammad say that? Yes. Muhammad, he made it clear that women are the devil himself. Look what Muhammad, he said about you. A Muslim woman, she walked by, she didn't do anything. She is not even wearing bikini. She's wearing a burqa. Just a burqa. I mean, a normal burqa. Not the burqa you see in the beach. They go inside the beach and they are wearing a burqa and then the clothes are stuck on their clothes and you can see every single details starting from the nipples to the bubbles. The prophet, he saw a woman walking by, you know, walking like walking down the street, la 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 la. And Muhammad is a very decent man. He don't look. He put his head in the floor. But the floor supposedly it's a mirror. So he was seeing her bum. I mean, what you can do? He put his head in the floor. How Muhammad get, you know, get so horny by looking at the women? He was not looking. It was reflection, brother. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger, he saw a woman. Mm, yummy, yummy, a woman, a lot of hummus. <laughs> a woman is walking by. Don't say goodbye. What happened to the Prophet? The Prophet is so decent. He did not look. Chapter recommendation. Recommendation? I mean, the name, the name of the chapter, recommendation of to the one who sees a woman and attract to her. Hey guys, hold on. There is a woman walking outside. I'm, I'm going, I will be back, okay? I just, I'm going to follow the recommendation of the prophet. Recommendation.
of a woman if a man he see a woman okay what is the recommendation to go to his wife and do boom boom so you look at the women you like her bum and you say oh boy I cannot take it no more I have to go to my wife I like that bum but what I cannot do I cannot have it so I'm going I have the other one and this is what happened to the prophet peace be upon him wonderful person man look Japer reported that he uh, the messenger of Allah he saw a woman mm -hmm. he saw a woman what did, what do you mean like come on he saw a woman and something start moving there like mm, moing moing so he came to his wife Zainab and the wife she is tanning leather imagine she is like in a mess she is like you know tanning leather is not like doing laundry is way more aggressive and bad job so the poor, poor woman she is sweating and she is boiling water blah 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 and now the prophet is is a horny Oh, I forgot he said that the women of in Islam she have to open her legs to her husband even if she is in the top of the saddle you can go and find the hadith so he found his wife not in the top of the saddle but in the top of the leather making leather so he said to her I saw a woman come on let us do boom boom and then Muhammad he said this the women advances and retires in the shape of the devil that's deep But you know, I'm looking at you. You don't look like the devil for me. Do you? Go, go. Like, move. Like, come, come and retire. Let us see if you are moving. When you come as a devil, you go back as a devil. I mean, do you see how much translation is very important? I remember, I'm reading for you the Islamic translation, not my translation. How in the world? You convert such an evil cult. What's wrong with you? How they were able to brainwash you? Okay, I got it. I think the prophet explained your situation. I'm not insulting you. I'm saying what the prophet said. The prophet said in one of the hadith, it, not this one about you go as a shaitan, come back as a shaitan. No different one. Hold on. The prophet, he said that majority of women, they are going to go to hellfire. They said to him, what is the reason for that messenger of Allah? Why we are the majority of the inhabitants of hellfire? The messenger of Allah, he said, after a prayer, he came upon some women and said give arms give arms women huh fork for i have been so uh, been shown that you will be the majority of inhabitants of hell i mean look at this stupid idiot isn't it you who promised the man at least to have 72 women for boom boom so how men they will be the majority if each one of them he will have 72 at least that's mean that uh, the, the ratio of men to women in heaven is 72 women to one man Look at this idiot. Oh, he did not mean that. He mean those Barbies. The 72 are Barbies. Allah will create them for six. And Allah take him 1,000 years to soften their skin. You know what? I don't know. I mean, take all took Allah 1,000 years to soften the skin of each one. How slow is Allah? Allah is the turtle. I mean, go and buy some Vaseline. 1,000 years to soften the skin for one woman. Why? She is an alligator. I love alligator. Don't take me wrong. Once I saw a jacket in alligator, you know, they said it's $12,000. Mean, $12,000 for a jacket of alligator? I can bring a bunch of alligator to my yard, just put in some, uh, you know, uh, uh, a Quran. So they asked him, what is the reason? Message of Allah, we will go to hell. He said, huh, you idiot. <laughs> You stupid. <laughs> you have a mental problem. He replied, you greatly given abuse and you are ungrateful to your husband. The women now, they are the one who abuse the husband in Islam. Me, now I remember when I walk in the street in the Middle East, you will see Muslim men, they have a bandage all over their head. 
Hey, Muhammad, what happened to you? Oh, my friend, my wife yesterday, I did not wash the dishes, so she beat the hell of me. So the woman is the one is abusing the husband in Islam. So what the chapter 4 verse 34 says is that you can beat them. Who is the one beating who? And then the, the glorious Muhammad, the holy prophet, he continued. Ungrateful to your husband. Aren't you ungrateful? Are you great, aren't you grateful that Muhammad have 13 wives at least? You should be grateful. Which means you will not see his face every day. Among women who uh, 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 among women who are deficient in intelligence and religion, women are deficient in intelligence and religion. Let me take a look. I don't know. You tell me. Honestly, you tell me. I don't know you. But you're a prophet. Saying so, I mean, is he lying? <sighs> Women, they have deficiency in intelligence. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's amazing. And why, Prophet? A woman, she asked the Prophet, why? A woman, she asked the prophet, he's a, he's a true prophet, by the way, he prophesied that women, they will have period, and this has happened. They ask, what is the deficiency of our religion and our intelligence? Like the women are like, what? They never heard this before. You see, they say the Arab, they used to abuse women. The one who abused women is Muhammad. After, before Muhammad, Muhammad himself, he used to work for his wife. Go and ask every single Muslim. Arab women before Islam, they used to be masters business owners, queens, leaders. After Islam, Muslim women, she became a human being. Muhammad categorized her as the devil. She, she come in the image of the devil and she retrieve in the image of the devil. I don't know what they say to you about this translation here. إِنَّ الْمَرْأَةَ تُقْبِلُ فِي سُورَةِ الشَّيْطَانِ وَتُدِبِرُ فِي سُورَةِ الشَّيْطَانِ What the heck? Who is going to accept to believe that his mother is the devil? And if the woman, she is the devil, that means Muhammad is born of the devil. And the Muslim, they say to you, the Quran order us to respect our parents. Well, how you can respect your parents if you are believing in such a thing? Hmm. Why are you going against women and still women are like that in Islam? <laughs> I'm not going against women, you idiot. It's your prophet. I mean, look at the, you know, when somebody have a low IQ, what do you say to him? Read with me. Why are you going against women and still women are like that in Islam? I am the one who is going against women. It's your prophet who is saying your mother, your daughter, your sister, she is the devil. And the stupid you saying I am the one going against women. How smart, man. You know what? You must be the genius of the century. I think you are born not of a woman. You are born of Loto because your number is unique. Islam is an amazing religion. Beat women, kill women, rape women, torture women. If a woman you divorce her three times, she have to go and do boom boom with the new man, and then she come back to you. Women they have deficiency in their brain. Most of women will go to hell. Uh, Prophet, why would they will go to hell, brother? Because they have deficiency in the brain. Mm -hmm. So when a woman she ask him. What is the reason we have deficiency in our intelligence? He said, hmm, let me prove it to you. <laughs> you want to debate Prophet Muhammad, you crazy? Huh? You are questioning the logic of Prophet Muhammad, you idiot. Look at the Prophet, how he got her busted. By the way, the Prophet, he used to speak like Zakarnaik because he have all his teeth broken in the front. When somebody throw a rock at him. So he said, but that's it. They are asking question. Why Muslim women they have a lack of intelligence? And why they have difficulty? I can explain to you freely. 
The reason to have deficiency, Zach and I called on, let me find my umbrella. I mean, you cover me with your respect, man. Christian Prince, first of all, I want to talk to you. Secondly, you are stupid. You are a person who believes that one plus one plus one is equal to one. Stupid people. Stupid people. Drunk mathematics. Uh, what? <laughs> and the test ceremony, brother, of a woman is equal in it or the half of the ceremony. Zach and I, I did not understand the last part, please. That, like the first part was so clear. I mean, it come with rain. The second part, what you say? And the ceremony of the women in the equality of the ceremony. Like, what the heck is that, man? Let me read it. And the testimony, and is it not the testimony of a woman equivalent of a half testimony of a man? <laughs> Look at this. Muhammad proved now that women are stupid. Why? Because he made a book. It says that women are not accepted to be a witness except in the case of borrowing money, not in the capital punishment. Any crime, women, they cannot witness in Islam. They cannot, period. Not my opinion, Muslim opinion. And when I say Muslim, I'm not talking about YouTubers, those dummy kids, kids. Go and read the scholars. So, a woman, she cannot be a witness. Two women are equal to one man if the Muslims approve them in the case of borrowing money. And Muhammad explaining that you have deficiency in the brain. Because of that, this is the proof. But here, look how stupid is that? So he's talking about you going to hell because you have a deficiency. Let us say for the sake of argument, somebody have deficiency in his brain. Isn't it Allah is the one who made him have that? So how he will go to hell because of what Allah created? Do you see the stupidity? Obviously, the one who have deficiency in his brain is Muhammad himself. However, Zakir Naik, he can explain it better than me. So brother sister, if we go to the Sharia court, a Muslim woman, they cannot accept to be a witness. Two women are equal to one man. Because the Quran said, if that's the deen, but that's the deen. What? Is that the deen, but that's the deen. What the heck is that? This is the Quran verse number. Oh, okay. So, because of that, brother Tatar, they have deficiency, and the Muslim, they have to accept that because the Prophet told the truth. I'm really convinced. And then, what is the ever deficiency in her intelligence beside that? He said she had menstruation. Like, what the heck? Women, they have deficiency. They will go to hell. He's explaining why we will go to hell. Muhammad, he, have, he found that you two perfect reasons. The first one, brother, she is not allowed to be witness in the court. She is half a brain. Naqisat wa aqlin wa deen. This is what the hadith says, naqisat. They have... They have less brain. They have their brain is not full. The second reason she have menstruation. How stupid this logic is. Well, isn't it the women she have menstruation because she is born this way? I mean, is that a sin? Is that a crime? If women have no menstruation, we have no. We don't have you, Muhammad. You idiot. What kind of religion this religion is? Again, we have to say that nobody understand the joy of Islam as a Muslim woman who live in very Islamic country. Not this woman, she is wearing hijab, showing half of her head hair, which is very un-Islamic and obviously you don't care. Show on your face. Go on in YouTube. Is that Islamic? Isn't it the voice of a woman is aura, which means a vagina? Isn't it Muhammad, he says the women, she have 10 aura, 10 vagina, one of them her, her voice? Isn't it Muhammad, he says, if you want to speak to a Muslim woman, especially the mother of the believers, speak to them from behind the curtain? <laughs> Where is your curtain? Ah. <laughs> uh, you see, this is what happened if you are a Western person. I'm speaking now because I see that between Western, Western, are, you know, uneducated people, sadly. You know, I believe somebody who live in Indonesia have way more education than someone who live in the West. Western are extremely naive. They send their kids, you know, it's easy for them to travel. They give them a passport, give them money. I could go. 
Now she go to Muslim country and they brainwash her. And this can happen to every child of yours. Watch my video, share this video. Let us see how many of you will take this video. Don't put one title, change the title. Make it as you want. Like, this is why a Muslim, this woman, this Muslim woman convert to Islam. I'm just giving you an idea. Because what people do, they download the same video, they have the same title, they don't even have time to change the title, then all of them will appear in one page. Share the video everywhere and let every, everyone see the truth. This is how filthy Islam is. Right? Uh, we have uh, Olivimia. Uh, you want to speak to me about my lies? Okay, my friend, I can open my pal talk for you. Lima, Latima. Do you want to call me in pal talk? Hmm? We don't use a Skype. We use pal talk. You want to call me? Hello? Be a man? Are you man enough to beat women like your prophet? Order you? <laughs> Look who's talking about being a man. Women beater is talking about beating women, and they are men. If you are a man, you will not beat women anyway. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? You see, I wanted to keep this video short so people they can download and share. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to go live again, maybe. Shall we guys go live again? Just to see the Muslims if they want to do it or not. Do you think any one of them, they will call me? You know what? Let me do it now. Hold on. Let me open my Skype. My sorry, my pal talk. <clears throat> All right, my Skype, my sorry, my pal talk is open. We are launching it. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Where is the brave Muslims? We have a message from pal talk promotion. They want to give me 72 wives if I buy their product. Okay, who is a Muslim want to text me so I can call him? No Christian, please don't text me. Only Muslims. My pal talk is open. This is my pal talk. And I'm waiting for your call. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? How many brave Muslims are there? May they, may they. Where are they, the heroes who said, debate me and be a man? May they, may they. Call me now and get the versions. Allah will reward you. He want to talk in Skype? We don't use a Skype. I mean, who cares about how we... This is what we use. If you want to call me, call me. Do you want me to change the number for you too? Obviously, he will not do it. He knew I'm not using Skype no more. So, okay, if I say now I will go in Skype, he will not go in Skype. He will say I want to go in Palto. They are a bunch of kids like their prophet. It might be someone in the age of Aisha, she was six years old, but she was mature. I mean, all of us, we agree that Aisha, she was a mature. We have somebody here. Let us see if he is a Muslim or not. All right, he's a Muslim. <coughs> oh boy. We got a Muslim, it says he have to update. Hmm. His name is Peacemaker, we call him. Update, my friend, update. Peacemaker, you are using older version. Let us send you a link, here we go. Update your link, Peacemaker. Who's next? Like when we get somebody, he cannot make it. You can believe it. 
yeah we have to keep the video shorter i mean already we are for here for 40 minutes i mean here we go we go live on, on on air every day call us we stay for hours nobody called suddenly now they want to call because i said i want to make the video short <laughs> and when i go and pal talk you know i find like a muslim saying call me and then we cannot call him how brave man but you know we have to admit those pictures I mean, this woman, she converted to Islam after she saw the videos of ISIS. You know what? I wonder, ISIS, they were reading what translation? But ISIS, they are Arab. I mean, there is some foreigners, but the leaders and the, all of them, they are Arab. What the translation they were reading? Oh, we have a Muslim. Call me. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. You are a Muslim, you say? Okay. Um, are you a Muslim, my friend? Nice to meet you, Christian Prince. Thank you. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not directly a Muslim, actually. You are not what? I'm not uh, a Muslim, though, um, actually. So why are you calling? But um, because I have um, three questions. Um, I'm following your... Uh, my friend, we, your, send uh, only, debate, we, which we are... send only Muslims can call us. So why are you calling? But I have so like I have debating questions for you. Well, I debate Muslims. You said that they are the Muslims. So debating question. It's okay. Uh, what do you think about Muhammad? About Muhammad? Yeah. Uh, firstly, I thought like um, because the thing is, I'm since one year I'm searching like for the right the hey, religion. Friend, why? Why uh, is the question is too hard? What do you think about Muhammad? <laughs> Uh, nothing good for now, actually. No, tell me, is he a false prophet for you, or he is is he is telling the truth, or he's a liar? Um, but that's why I'm calling you because I've three questions. My friend, questions, but... you are calling me already. You have uh, your own thought. Tell me your thought. Why you don't want to say is Muhammad is a false prophet or not? I I can't have my thought when I have open why questions. Not? You know why not? Why not? Because I have questions. Well, that's I'm the thing. I can't. Already, I can't. I okay, can't have. I can't you, have are opinion. Are you a Muslim or not? You said no. That's mean you don't believe in Muhammad. That's mean Muhammad is a liar. Why you don't say that? Okay, uh, I got your point. You okay. know. Okay. So are you a Muslim but, or not? Um, are you a Muslim? Let us go from zero. Are I'm not Muslim a Muslim. Or not? No. Okay. Do you think? No, I'm not. The... Okay. So why you decide not to be a Muslim? Is that because Muhammad is a liar? Because I'm since since a year searching for the right religion. No, no, but why you are not and, Muslim? Uh, why you are not convinced? Do you think Muhammad is a liar? Yes, because I have some uh, some okay. troubles so with finally, believing in Muhammad. Finally, That's we true. agree that Muhammad is a liar. Go, give me your question. Okay, um, uh, wait, I just wrote, wrote down three mm. questions. Um, uh, you you talked about them that uh, Muhammad. I'm I'm not sure with uh, which wife it was that um, he and his wife convinced. Uh, her father yeah to uh they just like him uh made him uh drink too much alcohol so that he yeah. can marry her is it right correct okay um and my question is like maybe i don't understand something but um uh, did you also say that uh, muhammad he could have every woman uh he wants to my friend Make one a question. So you so, I mean, about, it wasn't, about it wasn't Khadija. Even necessary one at the time. Don't don't suffer from a flight of thought. So you said you mentioned that Khadija she made her father drink uh, 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 until he drank to marry Muhammad. Now, what does this have to do with anything? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hmm. The thing is, didn't you mention also that Muhammad can have every woman which he wants to? Yeah. Well, this is Akta became prophet. Okay. When Muhammad he married Khadija. Khadija she was not. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a prophet yet. He was just a poor man working for Khadija. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, now now I understand. Okay, thank you for that. Um, the next one is, um, okay, you, friend, I think you friend. mentioned we also want, like... We want Muslims to call us. There's no second one. Uh, you know, we give, you a, we give you a chance, but obviously you're not listening. Please, if you are a Muslim, call us. If Muhammad, he can take any women. So why he did... That do that because he married Khadija. This is the first wife, and she is his boss. And this is telling you that Muhammad is from a bad family. Because why the father of Khadija refused to marry him to Khadija if he is a good person? <laughs> you 
You know what I mean? Why Muhammad and Khadija, they have to play such a game, such a trick, dirty trick. Don't they say that Muhammad is a good man? Hmm? This is the book of Sahih and Asir al Nabawiya. Sahih as Sirah Nabawi, which means the authentic story of the Prophet. Value number one, page number 167. And this is one version of the story, but all of them, they say the same. That the Prophet, wife Khadija, uh, in order to marry Muhammad, she made her father drunk and then she dressed him nicely so when he wake up he would think he was attending a wedding party and she said to him he said to himself why i'm wearing those clothes she invited people from Quraysh from the tribe and they drank with her father but when he woke up she changed his clothing because there's special clothing they wear only for occasions so he said why i'm wearing this she said don't you know Yesterday you marry me to Muhammad. And this is your Islamic reference. Now where is the Muslims who promised to call me? Nobody. The reason I want Muslims only to call because we want you to hear the other side of the story. If there is other side of the story, We have Muhammad. <clears throat> uh, Muhammad, he sent me a link saying there is a link answering your argument. Well, why you don't read the ring for me? Let me call him. <laughs> he is not answering. <laughs> He's sending me a link to refute me. Look at this. Oh, Muhammad, my friend, read the link for me. Refute me. Like, come on. I mean, how you can even refute me? Everything I said, it's in the front of you on the screen. This is your books. You want to refute me? Send me a link. This is link will refute all your argument. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm truly convinced. Brothers and sisters, we made a link and we refuted him. I will make a video and refute him, but nobody dared to call me. And look, we said we want to make the video short, and they challenged us to open our, uh, you know, to, to, to talk to me, and we open it, and nobody is calling. Anyway, guys, download the video, please share it with your friends. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't, if you already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe, because Allah in the Quran He says that the good deed will erase the bad deed and will make it double. So subscribing to me, brother, if you are a Muslim, that is a bad deed. If you unsubscribe. Allah will make them two good deeds. So I want you to spend the day. Subscribe and subscribe, subscribe and subscribe, subscribe. By the end of the day, you will have like a million deeds from Allah. Genius prophet. Genius. Who can beat that? Nobody. Nobody, no. Nobody. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And always follow us. Oh, hold on. There's somebody texting me. Ah, this is the same guy. Because I am near of a lot of people, I cannot talk. That is the link. Mm -hmm. Stay away from them. Call Jibril. Play Quran for them. They will go. They will. They, 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 they will. They will go not. They will leave the room. What do you mean? I am close to well, many people around me. What is excuse is that? Anyway. I'm close to a lot of people and there's a lot of people around me. So I cannot call you because there's a lot of people around me. So, so what does that mean? Because I'm near a lot of people. So you are rejecting my call because you are close to a lot of people. Okay. No problem. I'm convinced.
true story. Thank you guys. Take care. God bless you. I will try to come back later, maybe, if I can. But if not, until tomorrow. God bless you all. As you see, Islam is false. And it's nothing but a scam. They cannot refute us. They cannot debate us. And what they can debate about? All we, all what we do. Hold on. This guy is saying, call me in. Why you don't text me? Uh, uh, Latima. Hold on. Let me find the name of this person. <clears throat> don't go. Don't go. Maybe we got a fish. Let me search his name. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Uh, Yoromita. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is your name. I will call you. See what will happen in the screen. It says you have an old version. I mean, not the version of Muhammad. This is versions, different kind of versions. You see? It says you have to update. Yoramita Tatita. Tambalino. What a hero. Ah, too bad. We thought we got lucky. We got a fish. It turned to be an empty dish. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam, Islam made by a dummy for the dummies. Are you a dummy? If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Endless penis. Women in heaven naked for you. A palace made of gold of silver. Oh, I don't want to forget the prophet he promised us. Women with big boobs in the Quran. I wonder what they say to her about this verse too. What they say to you, the translation about this verse? Because I forgot this one. Let me read it for you. My English is perfect. Allah will give us women with the breast like Volo Bototos Tabatitos. I think this is a form of like round pizza, something like that. You know, my English is very good. So, and Allah will give you a garden full of a grape and women with big boobs. <whistles> mean. Who can resist that? And now they will refute me. You want to refute me? Your refutation is in this link. Like, okay, it says big boobs. What refutation? I mean, even this one needs refutation. <laughs> oh boy. Even this one needs refutation. Big boobs. A God who promised men with women with big boobs. The booby God. Your God is a booby God. The booby booby. The booby Allah. Hold on, hold on. Somebody is helping me. A moon is helping me to how to say the word. Hold on. Uh, vol up. What are you talking about? Are you going to play vol vol volleyball? Volley hey, you know what? It, it, it makes sense. They are round and we play poly polyvol, like volley vo volleyball, whatever they call it. Vol up to uh, os. I mean, I don't know. This is really. This word is messed up, my friend. I think I will switch to French. I think in French this word will be Louvolubobotos. Uh, idiot. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, for teaching me how to say it. We are just joking here. So, what kind of religion is religion? What they say to you in the beautiful translation in the Quran they gave you about the big boobs? It's a dream of every man. Islam is the dream of every man. Actually, I don't want to forget to mention that the Prophet, he promised us women, we can see the marrow of their bones. I suppose they are done, right? I think so. But did us mention like one or two more? It doesn't hurt, does it? The Prophet, he said that women, my friend, in the heaven, you will see the marrow of their bones. Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? Hold on. I'm trying to find the hadith, the marrow of their bones. Okay, hold on. I 
Allah in the heaven, brother, will give me 80,000 little boys to serve me. Okay? And women in heaven, brother, Allah will make them see through bones. I mean, all of us, we like to see women three bones, through bones, you know? Uh, where is the three bones? Uh, this one it doesn't say oh, bones. Where is the bones? We want to find the bones one. Uh, Let us see. Hurlain. I mean, there's no lies here. Where is the hadith of? Oh, look at this hadith here. This is even is, is better. Forget about the bones. Allah Prophet, He promised you, you will have a male member which will never go limp. So beautiful because think about it we are in heaven and now your private part is like zzzz, sleeping like what zzzz, like, come on don't do it now the women are zzzz, like what so the prophet he promised you a lot of women and your penis will never go limp promise from Allah never And what you would do now? You will refute me? I know, I know. You will say this is da'if. Islam is da'if. Everything is da'if. The hadith is da'if. The prophet is da'if. The Quran is da'if. Everything we say is da'if because Islam is a scam. And you Muslim, you lie about your prophet. This is what you are saying to me. So beautiful. Isn't it lovely? It is lovely. Thank you guys for being here. Please share the video, change the title. Let everybody see the truth is here and the truth will set you free. The truth is my Lord. Whatever people they say, the truth is my Lord. The Muslim they go and they say to you, oh, in the Bible it says this. In the Bible it says that. Oh, we have somebody who left Islam already. That's wonderful, and he's an Arab. I don't know if my friend, if I can show your nickname in Palto, can I? Let me try to not to show his name. I just received a message in Arabic from a Muslim saying this. See, I'm trying not to show his name. I don't know if it's showing clearly on your side. أنا كنت مسلم وأشكرك إنك إنك خليتني أترك. I was a Muslim and I thank you for making me leave. We are happy for you, my friend. Thank you very much. If you feel like you can call and you want to call, I will be happy to take you before we leave. If you like to call, I will be happy to take you. Just let me know. Yeah, it's a, it's not a name. It's a, like it's a pal talk name. It's not a name anyway, you know. But I don't want people to bother him, you know. He can close his list or nobody can text him. But yeah, I'm happy for him. That especially he's an Arab, you know. And this is just a message. I almost I was as a close a closing, you know. And then it says I I am a Muslim, and I thank you. You made me leave, which means leave Islam. All right. Very happy for you. But I am sad for you in the same time. What you will do now? Your male member will not be good enough for the future, brother. <laughs> oh. Uh, fashion maybe next time let us close this video because it's getting long and I, I wanted to make it short supposedly but it's impossible as long we have a, a chat running maybe next time I should disable the chat in order to make my videos short so my friends my brothers my sisters 
Pray for this woman to see the truth. We are angry for her, not from her. This woman, she been fooled. They did lie to her. And sooner or later, you remember the guy, his name is Brother Ishmael? Do you remember him? This guy was promoting Islam for more than 16 years. He went to Saudi Arabia, he studied Arabic. And since he learned Arabic, he decided to leave Islam because he found that Islam is nothing but a scam. Go and see his story. 16 years. And actually, I made many videos, like I'm making a video like this person now, exposing what he was saying that he's wrong. And my videos about him is still there when he was a Muslim. And now he left Islam and he is exposing Islam. And not only that, because he learned Arabic, he is doing a great job. Because now he speaks Arabic. Not like this poor woman trying, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I want to say thank you again. May the Lord bless you. And this is your humbly your brother Christian Prince was with you. I remember nobody is perfect, nobody is good but God. And we never speak good of, of, of ourselves because no one is good. Don't think because you are a Christian you are better than others. All of us we are sinners, and all of us we need salvation, and salvation come only from one person. His name is Christ the Messiah. He is the one who can resurrect you from the grave. He is the one who can give you life. He is the one who can forgive your sin. He is the one who can lead you. To the kingdom of God he said I am the door I am the way I am the beginning I am the end I am who I am one master one Lord no priest no Pope no Bishop no one is good but God so is Jesus thank you and may the Lord bless you all and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you for being here. Take care.